heaps. A heap is a special kind of binary tree. There are two kinds of heaps. There is a min heap and a max heap. So what is the special property that makes a heap different from a binary tree? The property is that in a min heap for every node x in the tree all of x's children are going to be larger in value than x. So for every node x x's children will be larger than x. And what is a max heap? A max heap says that it is a binary tree in which for every node x, x's children will be smaller than x. So this is going to be the basic property which is going to distinguish a heap from a basic binary tree. So let's give an example of a min heap and a max heap. This is an example of a min heap. In this tree, every node has children that are going to be larger in value than that node. This is an example of a max heap. In a max heap, every node is going to have children that are going to be smaller in value than that node. This is a basic idea of what a heap is and what are the two kinds of heaps. Now let's look into the two basic operations we will perform using a heap. Insertions and deletions. First let's take a look at insertion. Now there are two ways we can insert elements into a heap or rather there are two ways we can create a heap. There is a top down approach and a bottom up approach. In this video we are going to be looking at the top down approach. So what steps must we take when using the top down approach to insert an element into a heap? The first step is Insert the element to the first available space. After that, we must rearrange the tree if the heap property is not satisfied. So let's see what we mean by this using an example. In our example, let us assume we are going to be constructing a min heap. Let's say that we have already a heap like this. Let us say that to this heap we want to insert 1. So what is the first step? We must insert the element to the first available space. What does this mean? We can see that this level is full. The next level is also full. There is no place to add any more nodes since it's a binary tree. Then let's come to this level. We have four spaces at this level out of which only one is free. We are going to go from left to right from these four spaces and choose the first available space. 
this is taken we go to the next one this space is available so we are going to insert one here now we have finished the first step let's go to the second step we need to check whether the heap property is satisfied so what is the heap property the heap property says that if there is a node then all the children of that node must be larger than that node so now we have inserted one we check with its parent is one greater than the parent if it is greater than the parent then the heap property is satisfied so let's see 1 and 3 1 is not greater than 3 1 is less than 3 what does this mean this means that the heap property is not satisfied in that case what must we do we have to rearrange so since 1 is less than 3 which violates the heap property we need to swap 1 and 3 so after doing that we get a uh, a tree which looks like this now we have swapped 1 and 3 now we go back to 1 we check 1 with its parent now the parent has changed to 2 One is less than two. That means one violates the heap property. In that case, what must we do? We need to swap with its parent. After doing this, we get a tree which looks like this. This tree now satisfies the heap property. we check one with its parent there is no parent so one has reached the root so it's going to satisfy the heap property in other examples we can also see that one will have a parent but it will be greater than its parent so it's going to satisfy the heap property and we can stop our swapping or rearrangement this kind of rearrangement where the inserted node goes upwards through the tree is going to be called up heap bubbling so in a top down approach this is how you are going to insert elements into a heap now we have to take a look at how we are going to delete elements from a heap removing elements from a heap so when we say we want to remove an element from a heap we can only remove the root element so when we talk about deletion we are basically talking about deleting the root so this is how deletions happen in a heap you can only delete the root so let's see how we are going to do this or what are the steps to take when we are going to do this so the first is we will remove the root and what do we replace the root by we replace the root with the last element after we do this we have to rearrange when must we rearrange we must rearrange only when the heap property is not satisfied so let's take a look at this with an example let's say we are going to be deleting from a min heap let's say this is the min heap we are going to delete from so when we want to delete from this heap what do we mean we are going to delete one and what will we replace it by we will replace it with the last element 
in this heap what is the last element this level is full this level is full this level we traverse from left to right 4 5 5 is going to be our last element so we will replace 1 with 5 and we will return 1 So now we must check if the heap property is satisfied. So we will go to 5. Now we will check whether 5 is going to be less than its children. 5 is not less than its children. So what does this mean? This means that the min heap property has been violated. In this case what must we do? We need to swap 5 with one of its children. But which of its children must we swap with? If it is a min heap, we will swap the element with the smaller child. If it was a max heap, we would have swapped the element with the larger child. So upon swapping, we get a tree which looks like this. Now we will go back to 5. Is 5 lesser than its children? No, 5 is greater than its child. So what will we do? We will swap. And then finally we will get a tree which looks like this. Now we will see, is 5 larger than its children? Yes because it doesn't have any children. We have reached the end. So there's nothing left to swap with. So we can stop. So now we have got a heap with the required elements that satisfies the min heap property. It is important to note that when we are going for a min heap and the property does not satisfy, we will swap the parent with the smaller child. And in a max heap, when we are trying to delete and the heap property is violated, we will swap the parent with the greater child. So this is just something to remember when deleting from heaps. Now as you can see the element which we have started out with is going downwards through the heap. So this rearrangement is going to be called down heap bubbling. So this is how you insert and delete from a heap given that the insertions are done with a top-down approach.